Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Sorry for the squeaking chair, I'm trying to scoot up a little bit. So, I finally got another AliExpress package in the mail just now. I've been stocking the mailbox, the front of the house um, today because they've been telling me for a week, a couple days now, that it's a waiting delivery. It's been delivered to my local office. So, I've just been super, super impatient. These are the cat lady paintings, like the like the um, dog lady painting that I received. I don't like that they do this. They do this on every single canvas. They put tape to keep it closed. I really wish they would just roll it up and skip the tape. I'm being prepared for them to be ugly as hell because so far every lady diamond painting has been ugly as hell but once the drills are on they look great so we're not expecting a, a beautiful canvas today so this is the first one. Let me show you the thumbnail so you know what you're kind of looking at. Here's the first one. She's got like greenish blue hair and I don't know if that's a tabby cat. I don't. I just know tuxedo cats. Um, this one doesn't look too bad. Of course it has the bastard bitch in. Training wheels. It just adds to the ugliness of, of a negative looking canvas. But um, she does have like a pink coat on and there's the cat it doesn't look too bad nice and big this is a 40 by 30 they most most of everything I've been ordering is a 40 by 30 um, this is 28 colors thank God not too many um, I just don't think canvases should have a lot of I think over 28 30 would even be pushing it I think it's just too many colors uh, I mean, we're we going to be here all damn month doing the canvas. I don't know why I'm unrolling this. No, I'm not ready to do her yet. Um, so, see, we got a lot of pinks. Everything is individually bagged. Here are our two AVs. We got this lime green and this hot pink color. I don't know where the lime green is going. Uh, the only thing that's lime green, there's a little bit in the cat's eyes and a twinkle in her eye. And a little, there's one here, there's one here, there's one here, and three here in the eyes. And there's one, one down here. It looks like we might get a little gimpy again with the ABs. We're placing them on. You know, I should just put them on as I please and when I run out I run out you know um oh and we do have a third AB I said I wasn't opening this up but I wanted to look how many ABs we got in this bag 71 712R that's you so there are ABs in the cat's face there are ABs on her forehead some in her hair a lot I think the majority of this background that is all color blocked and used uh, is all ABs yay so I guess we weren't so cheap after all <laughs> this is how many greens we got so there's not a lot of green and here's the hot pink 602 R S let's see if we can find S's so the S's the hot pink is mainly highlighting her coat that she's got on so this will highlight her coat not bad she's super pretty let me put these in they have them in here so nice and neat I'm destroying it it looks like they um you do get an inventory sheet a lot of these I'd say 100% of these ladies I bought so far, even if they're different collections, I always get an inventory sheet, which is really nice. Um, no, I do not count my bags. Um, 
I just trust the process, which is probably a really horrible way of going about it. But uh, I know there's some people that are really diligent and they count all their bags and they get excited for inventory sheets so they know how many bags it's supposed to have. Ah, I, I just, I don't do that. Even on here, they don't even tell you how many bags are on here. They just tell you the weight. So I guess you would have to check the weight on the bags. And of course, we're not counting each drill, but it tells you the quantity of the drills. That U color, that white beigey um, AB, we got a, over 3,000. So yeah, it's going to be color blocked into the background. So not bad. Um, really, really pretty. Here she is. There's a better picture. How oh, cute with that cat. Super dapper. She is. She's a dapper lady. Like they have dapper people in Disney World. They have Dapper Day. If you've never been to Disney World, they. I think I don't know how many times a year it is, but they have Dapper Day. You dress up in your Sunday best and you walk around the park and. The car uh not the car I think the characters too, but um some of the people, the workers there are dressed up in their best too. It's, it's really it's cute. It's a really cute day. I've never got to experience Dapper Day. I you know, I don't take many trips to Disney. I have been there a couple times in my life, but um it's just so expensive. Um it's not a cheap vacation. It's not Disney is not a vacation if you are a broke bitch. So, are you working part time and stuff? It's just you gotta be, you gotta have those deep pockets. Last time I checked on a Disney vacation, the plan about two or three years ahead was like over two grand. Like, get out of here with that. <laughs> what kind of money you think people are made out of? I don't know. It's a wonderful trip, and it certainly seems worth the money, but now we're just, it's just getting, it's getting too expensive. I think the last time I went to Disney a couple years ago, maybe three or four years ago, it was like an $1,800 trip. Um, that's not including my flight, which was close to $500. Um, and then when I looked it up maybe a year ago to plan two years ahead to pay it off in increments, it was like $2,200, and that's not even including airfare. It's just nuts. Nobody's going to be able to go to Disney. Nobody. So, anyways, let's let's uh, get to the next lady. Now, she's a little bit more difficult to see. There, This is a predominantly pink, white, and purple canvas, which I absolutely love. I love my pink, but here's our lady looking all suave. This is all flowers and butterflies in her hair. I will show you the thumbnail. And right here is a cat. And here's another cat. And then there's some roses and some flowers. 28 colors like the other one. Here we go. Look how pretty she is. I want to see the AB, so I'm going to crack this open. Just curious to see what goes where. Not as many pinks in the bags as it portrays in the picture. It looks so pink. That's a lot of reds. So, hmm. I have to question these companies sometimes. Looks like we only got... There is like no pink in this. I might have to substitute... I'm a little confused. There's no pink. Is this supposed to be a pink canvas or what? Does that look, does that stuff look pink? Does some of that look pink in the background to you? Like underneath the kitten? That's definitely a pink. Um, we got a purple AB and a red AB. Triple six. So we got a triple six, which is the letter U. Like I was telling you, the ABs and all these kits come last on the color list. So the red is going to be in the middle of the roses, some in her lips, some in her eyeshadow, some in the background here. And this purple, this bluish purple, 550R, letter T. It's going to be all in the background here. And down here is a nice little chunk. 
Um, there's some in the cat's eyes for a little glimmer, a little shimmer. That sparkle in the eye, which I appreciate. Um, so not too many. You know, I wonder why some, some like I ordered from the same seller for these two ladies. And, I mean, they came from the same collection. Why does some get three ABs and only some get two? Because they could have easily um, put a pink AB in here and just loaded up the canvas. They could have went nuts. I... Half my damn canvas can be ABs. I would, I could love it no more. I would love it. So there's our inventory list with the weight and quantity. DC, DMC. Am I saying it right? DMC codes. Uh, our number, our symbols, which are numerical and alphabetical. They look like they go in order. And of course, again, one is two, two is three, three is four. Why they do that? And every canvas I've gotten so far, they do that. One is two, two is three, and starting at nine is A. Um, I don't know why they just can't put one as one. That's why people kit up different now, because it's too confusing. Let's put her on the outside so we can see. I haven't decided which one I'm going to do after the current, the Renaissance lady I'm working on. Um... I want to do one of these cat ladies. I also do have the K-Cat ladies. I don't know. They're a little bit darker. The one I'm working on is very... It's 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 like 50-50. Half of it is blondes and whites and stark white. And the other half is all dark color. So it's like a... I don't want to say it's a black and white, but it's, it's, it's got that concept to the Renaissance girl I'm working on. It's just... It's very the subject matter is all bright and all behind is dark so I don't know how I'm, which way I'm gonna feel um, if I want to do this pink one if I'm gonna want to do the the one with the blue hair um, in case you want to know somebody complained that I don't show the drill field here's the drill field with your training wheels of course it is clear as it possibly can be um, I still um, you know, the, the letters aren't smudgy, they're not blurry, but they are tiny, so I do use a light pad to do every single one of these canvases. I, I have a weaker left eye, I should probably be wearing glasses while I do this, I just got, uh, ordered new glasses today, um, but, um, yeah, a light box would definitely be helpful on these canvases. Um, in case you're wondering, here are the toolkits. It's it's like a toolkit with a little extra. You know, you get the, you get the the white boat with the spout. You get a, a longer plate of wax. You get the cheaper tweezers. You know, these aren't the greatest. And maybe like two or three baggies. I don't understand why they only give two or three bags when you have 28 colors. I don't think these bags are that expensive, <laughs> but. And you don't get any uh, multi-placers on your clear glitter pens, so, I don't know, it is what it is. I'm going to just dis disassemble these, I keep the baggies, I take the tips off the pens and use them for my bigger pens, since I use the brass tips. Sometimes I keep the plates of wax if they look nice and thick and not so see-through, and sometimes I just chuck them. So... I was so excited to get this in the mail today. I am I am monitoring all my other ones and the other 20, what, 20 canvases I've ordered in the past, like, two weeks, three weeks. Um, they're, some of them are being combined into one big shipping. Some of them aren't. Um, some of them are coming two at a time. They all pretty much say awaiting shipping, and it's either... They have gotten into the country or they are waiting ship, waiting delivery, and yet they are still in China. I don't know how they're awaiting delivery if they're still in China. That doesn't make any sense. That's the only thing that confuses me about AliExpress. I love the canvases. I love how they've been coming out. They, when they are completed, they are absolutely stunning. 
they're beautiful with some washi tape and to just hang up as is no frame needed um, they're gorgeous they're, they're looking stunning on my wall I'm enjoying looking at my finished ones um, but their Aliexpress shipping just takes forever and considering that Tibu is out there and is a China based I mean they say American but it's China based um, company you know I get my Timu packages in 8 to 11 days I want to say under two weeks um, Aliexpress gives you like a three week cap that you are waiting you know some of my um, packages so far from Aliexpress have come quicker than um, the estimated delivery date um, they told me to the end of the month for these and what are we on the 17th these weren't supposed to come in and maybe until the 21st so they, they come in a little bit earlier but you're still waiting like some time I, I am waiting on the tip of my toes for all these canvases to come in I am so impatient and there is no option to express ship it or make it quicker unfortunately when they come from China it's, it's a waiting game and you're you are at their mercy <laughs> like I am at their mercy I want my canvases but I'm at their mercy and I am just stuck waiting so other than that um, you guys have heard my views on Aliexpress um, it, 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 it it's kind of you accept it the way it is or you, either you like it and you accept it or you don't like it and you just don't shop on them but they have from what I've been looking as I've been exploring more and more they they just have beautiful work they have beautiful stuff um, they don't look that great when they come in, but they're beautiful when they're finished. So that's all that matters. As long as the finished project looks gorgeous and just like the picture, which they do, I am I couldn't be happier. I am ecstatic at these. I will continue to order and continue to be at their mercy with the shipping. <laughs> so I just want to um, thank some new subscribers. Um, I, I've gotten a couple new subscribers in the past week. Um, and they've been leaving really nice comments in my videos and going to look at my older videos. Um, thank you. Thank you. You're, you guys are absolutely wonderful. Um, thank you to all my older subscribers who have been there for a little while and keep continuing to support me. Um, just all my subscribers. Thank you. You guys are super supportive, super friendly in the comments and, um, and when I need help, some of you are really helpful with things, with advice. And I've just met some really amazing people since I started YouTube. I had some nasty ones in the beginning um, when I was doing nails. I had some nasty people that I had to weed through um, and block or, or whatever. But um, since then, since I have changed to a crafting channel um, and nails sometimes, but mostly predominantly um, crafting now, um, diamond painting specifically um, I've just got a new whole new batch of subscribers that are absolutely cheerful and wonderful and a lot of you I've subscribed to if you have your own channels um, I while I diamond paint on on my days off on and free time after work on work days I am watching your channels you guys have great channels some of you have Oh, this one, this one lady, I, I, I think it's, uh, Crafting with Deb, or Deb Loves Crafting. I, I have to look up her channel again. I'll let you guys know. Um, I just started watching her. She is like the Bob Ross of, like, YouTube with her voice. It is so soothing and so calming to listen to this woman during whipping chats and Timu hauls. She loves her Timu hauls. Um and her stained glass diamond paintings. She's absolutely amazing. She's wonderful. I love listening to her whipping chats while I'm working because she's just so soothing. She's like a Bob Ross. Like Bob Ross was so soothing to listen to. She's so calm and she's just so positive and pleasant. Uh, let me see if I can look up her channel because I would love for you guys to go check her out and just show her some love and some support. Um, She's a smaller channel. Debbie Gets Crafty. 
Debbie, if you see this, I don't know if you're subscribed to my channel or not, you watch my videos, but Debbie, your, your channel's amazing. I love your content. <laughs> your voice is amazing. It's so calming. Um, you're just, you just have a wonderful, um, channel and wonderful content. And I, I, I've been watching your videos like crazy amongst other content creators. Um, you guys are just wonderful. You, the diamond painting community, the crafting community is just so wonderful and cheerful. And they've just been, um, a ray of sunshine to, um, work with, deal with, subscribe to, <laughs> Um, be subscribers of mine you guys the whole community is just absolutely wonderful um couldn't make me any happier and i just want to say thanks to the people that have supported me through this process so anyways i'm gonna stop rambling i know there's some people out there that don't like long videos but you already know my views on it i love long videos um and i've already showed what i had to show so hopefully some more paintings come in very very soon um but until then we'll just keep doing some progress videos i'm going to keep working on my ladies and updating you on my progress maybe i'll throw a whip and chat in there somewhere um but i hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and i'll catch you in the next video bye now